What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your Let's See 3rd Objective C tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called variables. But before we jump into that, I want to talk about something that I actually want to talk about last tutorial but I ran out of time. And that's the concept of spacing. Now you see that there's a space above and below this NS log and you're saying alright, when do I have to press enter and when do I have to not? Well, you pretty much can add as much space as you want in between statements. Whenever you run your program, your computer is going to take all the space out. It doesn't care about it. So, why do I add space? Just so the users, such as me and you and any programmer, it's just easier to read. So, you know, you don't have to do it in any special order. I just want to point that out first. The next concept that I want to talk about is, all right, we already learned how to print stuff out to the screen using NS log. But what if we want to print it out? Well, let me run this first. You see, whenever we print it out to our screen, hey now brown cow, it's all on one line. But what if we want to print it on two separate lines? Well, your computer has a special character for this, and it's called the new line character. And what you need to do is press backspace N. And whenever your computer sees this character, it says, all right, I know you don't want me to actually print out backslash n. I know you want me to treat this as pretty much hitting enter or return on the keyboard and moving to another line. So let's go ahead and print this and it says hey now and on the next line it says brown cow. So whenever we type backslash n in our program it knows to go to the next line and that's just a special character that you guys just have to remember. And why am I telling you this? because I'm going to be doing it a lot in my programs and I don't want you guys to be like backslash in WTF does that mean uh, you know just thought I'd throw that out to you guys so now with all that being said let's go ahead and get to the meat of this tutorial and that's variables now a variable is actually pretty important in computer programming it's a placeholder of something else so if you can remember from you know sixth grade algebra whenever your teacher wrote x equals 10 on the board whenever they used that letter X later on in their math equation you know that that X symbolized 10 so that's what we're going to be doing in this computer program so there are a couple things that your computer needs to know before you use variables first what kind of information are you going to be holding are you going to be holding letters um, numbers with decimal places whole numbers well we're going to be holding integers so go ahead and the keyword for that is INT and in case you guys don't know, an integer is pretty much any whole number without a decimal place, like 10, 80, negative 2, you know, anything. So now that we got, now that we told the computer what kind of information we're going to be storing, we need to give our variable a name. You can name it Bob, you can name it Tuna. I'm going to name mine N1. And pretty much anything that you could have for like a username on AOL, you can use as a variable name. You can't like put dollar sign um, at sign seven two you know just just keep it simple so anyways we have an int variable that's going to be holding integers and we named it n1 so now what value do we want to store in it well in order to set the value go ahead and put an equal sign and put any number you want as long as it isn't like sixty trillion just go ahead and put n1 equal to twenty now whenever we use n1 in our computer program it knows to use 20 instead since that's what it symbolizes so let's go ahead and rewrite re this formatting string as it's called so it makes sense let's go ahead and write something like my fave number is and anytime you want to use a variable in a string you have to do the special thing you have to put percent sign and then go ahead and if it's an integer variable press i there are different key letters for different types of variable but anytime you want to use um, an integer variable, press percent sign I. Now you says my favorite number is, hmm, I want to use some variable in here, but you didn't tell me which variable you want to use in here yet. Well, in order to tell the variable, go ahead and press comma, and then go ahead and press the variable name, N1. And what this is going to say is, my favorite number is some variable, oh, this is the variable you want to use and these are called arguments well we'll get into that later on but that's pretty much what you gotta do so now let's go ahead and build and run this 
and now you see my favorite number is 20. So what it did is it printed out a string and when it came across this weird thing it said alright I know this is a variable I'm going to be using this variable and I know that it's equal to 20. So pretty cool huh? So aside from just printing out single variables you can also print out multiple variables in well let's go ahead let's make another variable right under int let's just name this one n2 and set this one equal to 43 these numbers don't matter um, just want to give you guys an example so put my favorite numbers are percent i which is a variable and let's go ahead and put percent i again which is another variable so now it says alright you have one variable right here and now I need another variable oh my gee what's going on so we already gave it one argument which is variable and if you want to give it another variable put another comma and put n2 so it says my favorite numbers are variable and variable I better have two variables here's my first one here's my second one pretty effing sweet so let's build it and run it again and I see my favorite numbers are 20 and 43 you know this computer program has turned out to be real good I might uh, have to sell this for millions someday but you know let's do some other stuff to it before we start doing that so lastly I want to tell you guys that you can also store equations of other variables in variables sounds confusing oh it isn't so let's go ahead and make another variable called int and we'll name this one sum and I've said instead of putting it equal to you know something like 32 what we're going to do is we're going to take that first variable named n1 and the sum of the second variable n2 and now here's what's going to happen this sum is equal to whatever n1 plus n2 is so let's go ahead and rewrite, rewrite this entire formatting string the sum of n1 or let's just go ahead and put the sum of variable and variable is variable so now what we need to do is put n1 and 2 and sum so now it's gonna say the sum of the first one the first variable is n120 and 43 is 63 so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get save all and it says the sum of 20 and 43 is 63 so those are the basics of using um, variables in formatting strings and how to get variables to print out on your screen and also the fact that you can use equations of other variables inside a variable you can set it equal to another variable so you'll understand this later when we actually do it um, in a program that's actually useful and not just a demonstration but for now I just want to show you guys the basics of how to use variables and why they would be useful so hopefully you guys learned a little something from this tutorial but not too much so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time